I'm Erin Conrad from Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. The Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation is in Haskell investigating a shootout that injured several people. The shooting happened at 630 this morning at a home near Skelly and Chickasaw Avenue. Authorities say several people came to the home attempting to kick the door in. Both sides started shooting at each other and four people were hit. Those people are being treated at a hospital in Muskogee. And happening now, the search continues for the remains of Ashley Freeman and Laura Bible, who disappeared nearly 20 years ago. Several agencies, including the Tulsa Police Dive Team, are searching Pitcher, Oklahoma. The Quapaw Nation has been helping with that investigation for months and has drained some lakes in the area to help search for those teens' remains. During today's search, they have cadaver dogs assisting, and dive teams will use ground-penetrating radar and digging sites all while examining bodies of water. And Tulsa police are searching for four people accused of crashing a stolen SUV into a dispensary and then stealing. It happened just after 3 o'clock at the Love Light Cannabis near Admiral and Harvard. Police say the suspects drove through the front window of the dispensary and then began stealing items from inside. If you have any information about this crime, you're asked to contact police. And let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. And we're actually going to see a pretty nice Tuesday afternoon. If you don't mind the humidity, dew point's going to be ranging from 70 to 75 degrees this afternoon, making it feel a little tropical-like and uncomfortable at times as we go throughout the rest of your day today. Highs going to be rising into those lower 90s, so warm, but it could be worse this time of year. These are still below average temperatures. Average for today is around 94, so we are a bit on the cooler side for the end of July and start of August. We're going to remain there for the rest of this week. As we go throughout Thursday, that's whenever rain is reintroduced into the forecast. It's going to remain there as we go throughout Friday and into the weekend. So keep that umbrella handy if you have any weekend plans. And as we go into the start of next week, Monday and Tuesday remaining dry and then rains back as we go throughout the middle of next week. Erin. All right. Thank you, Kerrigan. That was a look at our digital update. Keep checking back for updates all throughout the day. I'm Erin Conrad. Two works for you.